This is one of our corner depalletizers. It's a manual hydraulic lift unit, and we also make these for zoned environments as well. So you pump the handle at the back, and it raises this drum gripping head, and the drum is gripped between the jaws here, and we can change the settings on this so we can pick up drums of different types, so like this sort of egg-shaped drum, and the steel tight head and the open top, and also different sizes as well. You can alter the height of this. So let's wheel it round. The most important thing with corner depalletizers is the drum has to be in the corner of the pallet. So it has to be a full you know, pallet, one in each corner. So we wheel it around, line it up with the corner of the pallet. This grip here, we raise it, go above the drum. We pull this, goes down, and automatically engages on the drum. We then pump the handle at the back, raise it slightly off the pallet, maneuver it around. Now as soon as we take it off the pallet, it's always a good practice to actually lower the drum close to the floor. So then we can maneuver the drum where we want to go. You can also use this handle at the back as a tiller to steer it around. To release, we just lower it down a bit, lift off the toggle, and away you go. Now I mentioned before about different settings. So that was the egg-shaped Mauser setting. So we just changed this pin setting for the tight head and the open top. It's very easy to change. You just pull a pin out. Put the pin back in the back setting and that's it we're ready to go so let's go around now again line it up with the corner come into the drum raise the catch above the drum again automatic engagement wheel back clear of the pallet Lower, close to the floor. As soon as we lower it down so there's no weight on it, we then just lift the catch off. The next drum is this open top steel with a clamping lid. Again, lined up with the corner, raise the height. You notice it's twice as quick coming up without the drum, so it's a fast lift jack. Then engage over the top of the lip of the drum, pump the handle so you're clear. Lower down close to the floor. I'm now going to show you different catch settings for this. So we've got this little egg-shaped Mauser drum here, which is quite short, a lot shorter than the 205 sizes. So we have our catch here, and we can take this off and position it in different places on this ladder rack. So to take the catch off, we take that bottom retaining pin out, and we can lift the catch off. So you can see here, we've got various adjustable settings here, so we can move this hook forward. So if we want to pick a Mauser drum up, we move this pin to the forward position that extends this hook so we can grip it. We also want to make sure that we can set this in the right height. So when you have short drums, you might have to move it from the standard position and move it down on the ladder to suit it. So because this is short, I know we have to fit this in the lower rung position, refit the catch. And extend the hook. So we extend the hook again by removing the pin, placing it in the forward position, and then refitting the R pin. So this is the setting now for this style of drum. We also have this thrust plate here, which is used to keep the drum more vertical when you want to put drums on pallets close together. But for most drums, 
we leave that flicked out of the way. So what we'll do now, if we raise up the catch above the drum, we then bring it in, so the hook goes over the top, then we lower it down, the toggle goes underneath the drum, and then we can pump the handle to lift the drum. And then lower it down, lift off the catch, and away you go. We're now going to show you a close-up of the catch connecting to the drum. So your first thing you do is lift, so come above the drum, then we come over the top, you see the hook goes over the top, then pull the lever to drop the catch down till the toggle flips underneath the rim of the drum. We can then pump the handle to lift the drum. This works with or without the lid, so you can actually take the lid off and still pick the drum up. Then once you've moved it to the next location, you pull the handle gently to lower it down. Create a little bit of slack, so you can see now there's a little bit of slack there. And then all we do is put your hand on this lever here, so we're not actually touching the hook, and we just lift the lever up and move the unit away. Moving on to the next drum now, there's a 205 litre steel tight head. We raise the catch up by pumping the handle, we come over the drum, lower it down, so a little toggle flips underneath the drum, then pump the handle to lift the drum. Maneuver to the next position, then lower down, pull the handle gently just to lower the drum down a little bit of slack you can see I can move it backwards and forwards so there's no weight on the catch and then we take away now the next thing I'll show you is the thrust foot if we put the thrust foot down we can do the same thing we come into the drum lower down pump the handle to pick it up and the drum is now picked up more vertically this is only suitable when you do 205 litre steel drums.